Welcome to my world. We're going to be making a three ingredient barbecue shredded chicken today. I'm going to get the crock pot plugged in. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. I love using my crock pot, especially on busy days. I have it plugged in and set to low. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I have here a rotisserie chicken. It's awesome. We pick them up two, three times a month. They're $5 for an extra media at our BJ's Wholesale Club. And they're absolutely delicious. You can even buy two or three of these at a time and freeze some. That way you have them and you can take them out as needed. There's so much you can do with a chicken. Endless possibilities from soup to chicken chili to stews. First thing we're going to do is cut up my red onion that I have here that I also picked up at my wholesale club. Got a really great buy for a bunch of onions for under $3. It is going to rain all day today, so I thought some crock pot and barbecue chicken would be perfect with this leftover rotisserie. always cut the ends off and then I put a slit in it and the first two layers. Now you can save your onion scraps for making broth. Put it into the freezer with the carcass and then when you go to make your own homemade broth you have everything there. Onion and yellow cooking onions are my favorite of the onions. Then I love scallions and green onion. Although I don't buy them that often. I'm the only one that will eat them. I love green onions and salads. We eat salads occasionally, I do. My husband's not much of a salad eater. Or my children. I love Wendy's salads. I used to love their salad bar back in the day. going to do a decent sized diced here. If your eyes start burning, rub your hands on steel. Blue Jay have been there for a few hours. I think there is either a hawk of some kind or an eagle bothering them. Put my onions in first, just dumping them. I'm going to rinse my cutting board. I'm going to shred apart this chicken. And I'm going to freeze the carcass with my other one. So when I make broth, I can make a big pot of it and make soup. I also baste my turkeys with my homemade broth Thanksgiving. In our Cook With Me players list, we have full Thanksgiving videos, as well as Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, dinners, and family videos. I'll be saving all the bones, because that meat will just fall right off the bone when I do my stock pot of the bone broth. Using your clean hands, just go ahead and shred.
You can do Italian chicken with this too. Just a few more pieces pulled right off here. This was really extra meaty. Check out your Costco's if you don't have a BJ's for rotisserie chickens. I won't buy them at Walmart's. They're small and they charge too much. That's going to go into my freezer. I'm going to rinse my hands off with soap and water, my knife, and we're going to run the knife through the chicken. And a lot of, a lot of chicken came off of that. Granted, it was only two of us because my husband visited his stepbrother yesterday. Anything that looks really big, it's going to slide the knife through. If you wanted to, you could do this in your stand mixer. I just rather run a knife through it. Now we're going to dump it into the crock pot. The crock pot heats up pretty quick, so watch the size so you don't burn yourself. I'm going to dump that chicken right on it in. I love dump and go crock pot meals. I'm keeping my hands free all day so I can get my other videos recorded. And I can bring you guys great three and five ingredient dinners. Now we're going to season this with a little bit of black pepper and garlic salt. Now we're going to season it with my black pepper and garlic salt combination. My barbecue sauce and spices came from Dollar Tree in case you're curious. We have a Dollar Tree haul to players list. Two teaspoons because it's already pre-seasoned the chicken. I like to call it the bird a lot. Just give it a good mix. So the onions are mixed in with the chicken. We're going to dump in this entire bottle of barbecue sauce. This is 17.5 ounces of bullseye that I picked up at Dollar Tree and it's the honey. And again, a quarter cup of water. Grab your mug. Around the rim of the crock pot, add the water. And dump in this entire bottle of barbecue sauce. This is going to smell incredible in your home all day. You can boil up potatoes if you wanted to. And add them in. having mine on a nice hamburger bun making good sandwich it's Labor Day this video is previously recorded oh that smells so yummy Dollar Tree in the summer months carries barbecue sauce. Some of them will have them from time to time all year. Make sure that barbecue sauce is completely covering your chicken. And it's already shredded. So no shredding required. You can even do barbecue chicken tacos. Or you can make a pizza and do barbecue chicken pizza. Perfect for a wet rainy day. I haven't had bullseye in a long time. I usually do craft, but this smells incredible. If you have a little bit of cola, you can add in a quarter cup of Coca-Cola. I'm going to show you a close-up. Here 
Here is a close-up. I'm going to keep it covered. This is an easy three-ingredient shredded barbecue chicken. Perfect for sandwiches, barbecue pizza, or even tacos. The onion is going to make it very flavorful with a little bit of pepper and garlic salt that I added in. And I'll show you what it's going to look like later on my sandwich because I'm making barbecue chicken sandwiches and I'll probably make a macaroni salad for the side. Take all that chicken, put it into a bag because that is not garbage, it is very useful. And I use my entire chicken right down to the bones. That's going to make an awesome pot of broth. I'm going to wash out the containers and I use them for gifting food to my neighbors. And this is ready to go to the freezer. If you want to label it and date it, you can. I automatically can look at it and see what it is. I'm going to put some of the shredded barbecue chicken that we made onto this hamburger bun. If you like the sandwiches and you have any kind of boneless, skinless chicken breast, you can can chicken or rotisserie chicken left over. This is going to make a lot. Easily feed for perfect round two meal. And I have some homemade potato salad that I threw together with pantry items that I'm going to pair with this and show you what that looks like on my plate. Go ahead and serve some of your potato salad onto the plate. We'll go with the chicken sandwich. It's been chilling in the fridge. I'm going to show you a close up. This beautiful shredded barbecue chicken sandwich and the potato salad. I made this with leftover rotisserie chicken, an onion, and barbecue sauce. Literally three ingredients. The potato salad, five major ingredients and seasonings. Perfect, really easy to do videos on both of them. Please watch them both. You get to see the final product with the chicken sandwich. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. We're looking to get to 1,900 here on YouTube. And we're just going to be giving away $10 gift cards, two of them, either Dollar Tree, Walmart, Amazon, or eBay. If you're interested in any of those choices, make sure you hit subscribe, comment, become a part of my growing community, and that you're a U.S. resident. We can now email gift cards for your convenience rather than to your street address. It's safer and quicker for your convenience. If you won in the past six days, you have to wait that out. If you want and don't answer within two, you'll be disqualified. My email is contributes1268 at yahoo.com. In my description box down below are the rules to the giveaways, which will be updated with the list of gift cards available. Also, my social sites, including our Facebook page and Facebook group, and our players list for you to enjoy and binge watch. I also included the ingredients for the potato salad, and I'll make sure the ingredients for the three ingredients shredded barbecue chicken for the crock pot will also be included. Thank you for your continuing ongoing support, and thank you for watching.